Also only on two tonight, a heated confrontation involving key players in an upcoming election in Galveston County. It is the race for tax assessor collector, which was already making headlines. Now an encounter has led to a police report. Channel 2's Hannah McKenzie live in League City with exclusive audio from that incident. Hannah? Good evening. Yeah, that audio is hard to hear, but the overall message from both of these campaigners is not. The signs for Cheryl Johnson and Jackie Peden all over this polling location. Fortunately, things went smoothly here today for early voting, but the same can't be said for a few days ago. The race for Galveston County tax assessor collector heating up. This encounter Friday outside the Calder Drive Annex building, leading Sean Byers to file a police report against Donald Johnson, current tax assessor collector Cheryl Johnson's husband. He was poking me, poking the literature I was holding. Um, you know, can't tolerate this kind of behavior at election polls, you know, especially on election, you know, during the election. Byer says he was campaigning for Jackie Peden, Cheryl Johnson's opponent. My husband did not touch him. There's witnesses to see that. That's nothing more than politics at its worst. It's just the latest blow in a race raising eyebrows. This political ad mailed to Galveston County residents claims Johnson is using her position for personal gain by cutting her own property taxes. The 16 year incumbent telling us her next door neighbors homes aren't comparable to hers in size or acreage. Then another ad depicting an alleged MS-13 gang member accuses Johnson of inadvertently registering undocumented immigrants to vote. To have made the assumption that all illegal immigrants look like MS-13 gang members I thought was profiling, it was racial discrimination, and it was, it was produced in order to incite fear. I do not conduct the elections, that's the county clerk. So the person who is responsible for illegals voting would be the county clerk if they fail to get proper ID. And in Texas, you can't vote without a Texas ID. The mailers paid for by Peden's camp. Peden unable to speak on camera today. Now, they did send me a statement from their office in it. They basically just reinstate the same things that were sent out on those mailers. They also go on to call Johnson's conduct over the last 16 years questionable. Reporting live in League City, Hannah McKenzie, KPRC Channel 2 News.